Today I'm going to be doing my fall glow up video. I've been procrastinating this for a while. So I finally got it done. I also just want to say before, before the video even starts, we know, I always want something to say, but listen, I got my first paid partnership for YouTube. This video is going to be sponsored. I'm just really thankful to the company. First of all, reaching out to me and wanting to partner with me. I thought that was really cool. But now we're going to get into the video. I'm going to stop talking. I just got back from Target. I didn't bother taking you guys inside with me. So I'm just gonna tell you what I got and I'm obviously gonna go through it once we get back home, but I got a toner cause I needed some. These were all just like rebuys I had to make. I got a toner, a native brand spray deodorant. I got Mighty Patches and um, cleansing water like to take off my makeup. Now I'm gonna give myself a little treat and I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and then we're gonna go back home. Can I just get the, what's the biggest amount of um, the tenders that you can get? The tenders, I have four. God, I, I hate counting out change. I don't know. I just, I just feel like I'm poor when I whip out my change. So now that I'm back home, now I'm actually going to show you what I got at Target. The first thing I got, this is Native's brand spray on deodorant, and I got cucumber and mint on the back of this. It is very simple and easy to read. There's no like big words for the ingredients in here. I'm very excited to use this, and it does smell good. The next thing I bought was a toner. This is by the brand Coco Kind. This is another really great brand I've been hearing about, and I actually have been using their jelly cleanser. That's something I really like as well. This is the rose water toner. This is a pretty big sized bottle. The bottle itself is glass and I think that's pretty cool. Also just want to say this was filled up to the very top. I just have been using this already so you are getting your money's worth with this. And another thing I really like about the Coco Kind brand, the ingredients for this bottle, it literally just says there's rose and water in it, which that's all there should be in it. And since I have been using it, I really do like it so far. The next thing I got was a micellar cleansing water. This is the Garnier brand, and this is their rose water with glycerin. I've been a very avid micellar cleansing water user for years. I think this is the only product I've ever used to take off my makeup. So if you guys have any other recommendations or cleansers you want me to try that take off the makeup, please let me know because I would love to try new things out. I just, I know her. I've been using her for years and she has never let me down. And then the last thing I got, I just bought the Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. These are just the original. They did not have the duos, but normally I will buy the duo pack. I've been using these for a while as well. And anytime I'm breaking out, which recently has been pretty um, standard. So I'm going to be getting some good use out of those and I love them. They work and I wear them during the day sometimes and you can't even tell. The next thing I want to start to do is make my room a little bit more homey and I'm going to start that by first making my bed because when you have a nice room, you get things done. One thing about me is I'm going to drink a coffee. That's how I start my mornings and I don't function the same without one. So whether that's me going to Dunkin', Starbucks, or me making one at home, I need to be caffeinated. But now I can do that from the luxury of my own home with Javi's coffee. Javi was kind enough to send me my very own instant protein coffee. So I've been using Javi for about a month now and I have been loving it so far. I love the fact that I'm getting protein intake while waking up for the morning. Each scoop has 10 grams of protein. First, open the protein coffee. You're greeted with the most perfect smell ever. It smells so fresh, so good. This is their original flavor, by the way. They do have, I believe, four different ones, so I would highly recommend you check them out. And it does come with its own scoop, so I really do like that. I like very sugary coffee, but I also like to have my coffee actually taste like coffee and not just sugar. So I'm gonna fill it up about... 
that much. I'm gonna take two scoops of Javi. And then once I have both my scoops in here, I'll normally take my little milk frother or creamer frother just to mix that up if I'm not using a blender bottle. But since I'm kind of feeling a little bit lazy today, I'm just gonna use a straw and I'm just gonna mix it up. If you're not a fan of creamer or you can't have creamer because of dietary restrictions, you can just as easily add eight ounces of water to this and it'll taste just the same. So once my coffee's shaken up, I'm once again going to use my same creamer. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that. And that is how I make my instant protein coffee. So I also have a gift for you guys, my followers and subscribers. You guys can try your very own Javi Protein Instant Coffee using my 20% off discount right here, Gabriella33000, or by clicking the link in the description down below, you can have your very own Javi coffee. Trust me, you guys, you don't want to miss out on this. Nothing is better than being at home with a coffee. Thank you, Javi, for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching my videos and making this all possible. So I'm just going to take these next couple minutes to finish my coffee, kind of wake up a little bit. And then I want to obviously get a shower because I'm looking very rugged and disgusting, greasy right now. And I need to wash my hair. And we're going to do the whole nine yards, my skincare, makeup. I'm gonna let this oil, since I haven't been oiling my hair, I'm gonna let it sit for like three, three and a half hours. While I'm waiting for the oil to absorb into my scalp, I'm going to start my dermaplaning, see if we can add a little bit more glow and life back to my face. All that was on my fucking face. This is what my skin looks like after. Obviously my face is a little red and that will happen, but it'll go away. So now that I'm finished dermaplaning and my hair has been oiled up for like three, four hours, I'm gonna get a shower. You're probably not gonna know this, but the next clip after I get my shower, it's gonna be tomorrow or the next day um, because I'm not dressing up just to go to bed. It gets dark at like 5 p.m. now, so that kind of ruins my plans and now this is going to be a two day three day video for me but not going to make a difference to you guys because this is all going in the same video i'll see you guys after my shower get a good look at my face see you tomorrow good morning everyone it's the next day my hair is now semi dry and i slept overnight with my pimple patches on so the first thing i'm gonna do is take them off Pretty sure I only have like five patches on. The first thing I really love to do in the morning, mostly because it wakes me up, I like to take my ice roller and I'm gonna wipe my face with that for about like five minutes and then I'm gonna pat that dry. And then I am going to do my regular skincare and gua sha. I'm done the ice rolling. I'll just take a cotton round and I'm just going to very lightly use the micellar cleansing water to just take off any dirt or excess vitamin C serum. So I like to start on my jawline and I'll kind of like hold it back a little bit and then I'm just going to use upward sweeping motions just like this and then when i get to like the bottom of my earlobe i'm just gonna move it like this just to drain all the lymphatic tissue i also do like to bring it down my neck just like five times Now both my eyebrows are done, I'm going to get started on my skincare.
My last step in my skincare routine, I just like to lock everything in with a setting spray. So I'll just do that. Right now, what I want to do is I'm gonna do my hair first. And I saw this thing that's been going around TikTok um, where you, instead of doing a traditional blowout, you put your hair up in a ponytail and blow it out that way and then like put the rollers in. I want to try that because I want to see if I get any more volume up here like on the crown of my head. I think all I have to do is like pull out my front pieces and then just put the rest of my hair up in a ponytail and then like go from there which honestly if it works is gonna cut down so much of my time. So yeah actually I'm gonna do that off camera. My hair is in like the best ponytail it can be and then I have my layers out in front so I think I'm gonna do them first just so I can get them out of the way. I'm not really sure how to do the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna do it how I would normally curl it if I had a ponytail in. So I'm just gonna take like an inch and a half long of sections. I'm just gonna roll them up. I'm gonna start with this piece and then just kind of work my way around the um, ponytail. I just finished putting all the rollers in my hair. It looks interesting. I will say it did take a lot less time than if I would have not had it in a ponytail. However, it was difficult to find like where to set the rollers down. I don't have very much surface area on my head when there's like the ponytails taking up half of it. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It looks fine right now and it actually feels really like sturdy. I used bog pins. I'm gonna let these sit. The hair is not all the way done yet, so in the meantime, I'm going to start my makeup. And I have no idea what kind of look I'm gonna go for yet. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know that I want it to be neutrals and just like fall shades. Right now, I am just priming my face with the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm actually going to start with my eyes. I'm just going to start with a neutral shade just all over my lid and then probably a darker brown or something like in the corner. Okay, so, so far this is what I did for the eyes. I did just a gold glitter lid with an eyeshadow pencil and then I went in with a darker brown in the outer corner and then my transition color was like a beige kind of. I'm gonna use the two of these mascaras to do my eyelashes. They're both by Benefit, the one's the roller lash and the other is the real. just decided to do a little white in my inner corners and then I did like the slightest amount possible of the beige on my lower lash line and then I just did top and bottom mascara. Now I'm using just a clear gel. This is meant for like slicking back my hairs on my head but I don't have a tinted um, brow gel or anything right now so my go-to has lately just been this since it's clear. And it just sticks. I am going to move on to 
my face i'm just gonna do like bronzer contour maybe and then a uh, blush and highlighter all right so i just finished my makeup this is the final look i'm just like nervous excited to take out this hair it's about time to take it out now so we're gonna take it out i guess i'll start with my front piece These look normal. I'm just gonna start like grabbing bobby pins. All right, this could end up good. This could be good. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh my god. Alright, I'm probably gonna have the biggest kink in my hair. Moment of truth, people. Alright. Oh, yeah. Hair crap. First of all, my thoughts. Um, I would rather do it the regular way. My hair looks nice, but I don't really see like a difference in volume. I didn't brush this out yet. Yeah, that is much better. That's what the ends look like. Ah, so bouncy. All right, yeah, I feel a lot better. So just to touch it up and then I'll show you what it looks like. 360, I'm just gonna IGK just on the roots. I need to change out of this outfit. Go birds though. So I'm just gonna put on this knit sweater. I believe this is from American Eagle. And then these jeans. I don't know where they're from to be honest. It says the company name is And Denim. I don't know what that is. So that is going to be my outfit. I'm gonna do a quick change and then it's model time. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. It's just easier to show you guys from here. So this is the super cute sweater. Feeling very much autumn. Mm, so cute. This is the bottom of the fit. That's what the jeans look like. Simple fall casual. I didn't want to go crazy with this. That is all for this week's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. And if you liked the video, please, please, please leave a like, subscribe, 
do all the things. I hope you guys have a happy fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. If you're not following my Instagram, please go do that right now. And once again, Javi's 20% off code, my 20% off code for Javi is down below in the description. It's also in my direct me. It's my little pre-Christmas present to you. 20% off Javi. Bye. Thank you.